Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the European Cross-Up webinar. And we've seen a really strong rebound rally uh, or fairly strong rebound rally in indices. Look how we've come back up. I was in, <clears throat> noting a lot in Asia, and this was the one area that I thought we would get to, uh, which was this 14.829. This was actually the rebound high. Um, was right there after they broke, which was uh, 14816. But I always thought they could come up to 14829. They did make it there and actually took a short and covered for a small amount. Excuse me, covered for a small amount. And um, I was really pooped after yesterday, so I had no idea where this thing would go. Uh, you know, they did go on and pull back some, but wow, woke up and look, it's even added on to its gains. So holy smokes. Uh, I think they just they just got people yesterday. Uh, I mean, it looks like, you know, they, they would move ahead with the taper, everything else. Although I did think the CPI was priced in, and I thought from the, uh, <clears throat> from the outright we could rally, but I thought the rally would be like this. And then, you know, come down. And in the U.S. session, we really didn't. We just kind of sputtered here, you know. And then we kind of came back. And it kept looking like it was going to just break lower. And uh, <clears throat> it didn't. And uh, I was just tracking the triple Qs to see how it would go. That, that helped me um, out quite a bit. Um, go there. And even if you don't trade triple Qs, I mean, to trade the indices, it, I think it's helpful. Um, so I shared this, and um, this is after we'd had the minutes, and the market had already rallied right up in here. You can see we went right to the top of this, this boundary that I have in place. This is on the 2H. Uh, just a few moments ago, you see the 30 minute. <laughs> And we came back and, and I shared this in the chat room also. This 358.71, I go, that's it, because we're coming back. Uh, and actually, I had gotten short. And I'm thinking, oh my God, is this thing going to want to push higher? And it kept just wanting to come back here. And I thought, okay, it's right here is going to be where the stops are going to be. Because if they're here and you can see how they're holding, like once they hit these, if they come down here and hit stops, it'll open the door. Then it'll go all the way back down. It's going to open the door for them to flush some people out. And we got this dip, and before we only made it to 359.02. And uh, fortunately, we did make a couple of moves down here, to, I think almost to 30, I think almost. And uh, I was able to go, and I'm talking about the NASDAQ, uh, 14,730, uh, even though 14,725 was a pivot. And I was able to get out, and then we actually came back down again towards that 30. We came back down again. It's like, wow, this thing's going to go either way. I have no idea. Um, I'm just glad to get out uh, for my little amount that I did, that I got short from. And then also we start pushing on. I'm thinking, you know what? I've seen this movie before. I go, wow. If I was short, I'd be getting out. And I'm thinking, you know, we didn't, we didn't rally much into the close. I thought, man, I was just imagining. I go, I'd have to get out at sixty-three. Just get out, get out. I'm um, talking about the the um, the Nasdaq, and um, we start. We opened not really strong, not, but we kept on moving higher. And like I said, I've seen that movie before. And man, look at that! And it just kept going. And so when I woke up this morning, I'm like, wow, I wonder what it's, what it's going to do now. Maybe it's pulled back some. Talking about the Nasdaq. But man, looks like we're, we're we're still scooting higher, uh, getting back to that. So when I keep my point was is a when you get like a thing like a um, something key like the what you call the um, um, you know this wasn't super key, but the market was really weighing on it was a FOMC minutes. Then you line up and find out where's the key critical area and where could they kind of bust them, and essentially that's what we we got. Uh, but um, let me go back to the main screen here. So you can see here, 
as I told you right here, and I said, man, I'd just be gone. I'd just get out. And surprisingly, I mean, we saw some shortcomings, but it wasn't like overly huge. I mean, you thought they would have run them up to, let's say, into the 80s or 90s. And no, I mean, we just, you know, we pushed them higher. And you can see still it was relatively quiet. I think, man, if I was still short, I'd just get out. Just get out. And I thought maybe they'd start to really boom them up. But no, they didn't. And they started fairly quiet and just kept just kept going relentlessly i mean right here and it got up to like 800 and then it kind of dipped back to like 90 and then it just came back up again dipped back a little bit and then also boop, it just pushed up real quick and it was in the teens and then it's just a matter of right here and i had 14829 as a well i had this as a level but 14832 when you look at the volume that i had that right there the high was 14 831 and a quarter, and then we finally pulled back, but we didn't pull back very much. And then look, they've, they've just constantly just pushed us. It looks like they're going to that 14900. Well, what a move! What a move! Let me just say, flip this here and get a better idea what the volume's doing. Hmm. So you can see the amount of buying the trade right there at 823. And we're still pushing higher. Uh, take a look at what we have for today. I'm talking about um, whatchamacall. Um, Start here. Mm. Spanish CPI was an hour ago. Came in line. Mm -hmm. Oh, we do get PPI today. I had CPI yesterday. Now we get Canadian manufacturing sales. Hmm. I like this site. This really look, it just kind of lays things out real super easy for you. And you don't have to re renew it, re um, refresh the screen. It just takes over. The news isn't all that great, uh, but it's all right. It's not great, but it's for me, for us, it works pretty nice. I just like the economic, because not only does it have the economic reports, and everything's already updated for you, but it even has like, let's say, ECB speakers, um, uh, uh, Fed speakers are speaking, it's all laid out for you, even lays out the, um, you know, when they had, like I was talking yesterday, we had the, the bond auctions. And actually, this site is um, it's free. So if you're interested in something like that, it's pretty. It's free. You can't beat it. Move this other way. So man, look at this sucker still pushing higher. Holy smokes! So let's now go into FX. And we got that moving gold we were looking for. And I'm no fan of gold. I said that yesterday again, but I thought we were going to go higher due to positioning. Uh, let me see, you got this one blue. Let me flip this to yellow. There's gold. Look at that. So that we were set up. 
I thought we'd run out of gas at 89 because that's where our bias chart resistance was, but they did push up to 95. I guess I have 95 there as a level. I just didn't think they'd go that far. I thought 89 would be the stretch. But nonetheless, I was looking for this thing to push higher because really because I thought CPI was priced in. So once again, I was saying, okay, if it's priced in, equity's going to go higher. It's going to help you know, gold go higher. And position-wise, it'll be able to pop up. There's what I was talking about with the NASDAQ. Uh, what the heck? Talk on it. There. So you can see here, by the 14.832, there's a you can see that high little mark here on the volume there. And here's a high mark on the volume here. And there's a volume point of control here from the eighth. So if it pushes above and they should run out of gas, or at least you know, around 14850, you can see they've continued to push higher. But they did take that pause in this area and that confluence with that level I was looking at, which was at 79 high. Well, let's see what's going on with the euro. Oh, look at that thing. Sucker's still pushing higher. And the NASDAQ, I'm talking about, look at that. So looking at the euro, here we are. Uh, remember we had that 1624 for the last few days. Well, we're going back to that. That's we had this since it's taking that dip. Where would the immediate resistance be? But 1624 will be that trigger. So 1624. And support. Um, oh, that's that goes high is it fourteen eight ninety three? <coughs> Excuse me. Support might be a little bit too close. Let's go right there. Fifty. 1971. Moving into the cable. Uh, there's a little lip here, but we'll give it the extra little bit to push higher. So 3717. And support. Thirty six fifty one. Moving into the Aussie dollar.
a lot of people were thinking this was going to go lower. This is like over the last couple of weeks. And um, just from a technical standpoint, I'm talking about from the charts, it just didn't want to push any lower. But there, you know, I think I saw some places calling for 68. But it just didn't want to go any lower. So here we are pushing higher. And we're seeing... Commodities moving higher. Um, I'm not talking necessarily about gold, but other forms of commodities, coal and things like that, they're going higher. That I think bodes well for the for the Aussie. Uh, we had 74.02, or actually we had 74.01. So we did make it up here. Uh, Immediate resistance is right there at 74. Let's just go right there with the bottom of this area right there. That would be um, 74.27, although I think we're still going to be pushing higher, but 74.27. <laughs> then um, support. Let's go right there, 7370. Next up is the dollar yen. We have that monthly level. 1367. I thought maybe on a really bad CPI, they try, try and push this thing up, but they couldn't. So it's 1367 remains. And support. Uh, I still like this 1267 on a pullback. Like, you know, if we see that pullback, that's where we're going to find people to come back in. There's 1291 here, and then right here, 1267. There's 1267. Twelve ninety one. I guess we'll go with twelve ninety one and then twelve sixty seven. So let's go with the twelve ninety one. And go with the cash dollar index. Well, they've really pushed them back down. So see this work here? That's going to be resistance, the bottom of that wick. Ninety-four 
and support. We're at 85 and we had 9380. Um, let's just go with this wick right there. 9368. To Bitcoin. Bulls are still hanging out. They're really putting up a fight. I had 57,075, and we still, look at that, against the 693, we're still pushed up a little bit higher. We'll go right there. See the top of that wick? We'll just go with this level for right now. 55751. And then uh On to the net, uh, S and P's. Hmm. Uh, there's resistance right there. 4384. And um, let's see. Well, look, we got up as high as. 40 to 14,894 or down 10 handles from that, but um, support. I don't think you can make it all the way back there. That's already been a pretty good run. Hmm. Let's go right there. 4367. 14925. Let's see if we can find anything in the profiles.
There's 897. We just got to 895. See 897 right there. Remove these. There's 904. A little bit of line right there at 937. Pull this back. Uh, that's pretty decent right there at 886. Right there, 900. And above right there, 918. Nine thirty three, nine forty two. This one looks pretty good there. Nine eighteen. Let's go fourteen nine one nine. Mm, it's right here, but this 14920 looks good because you can see it pulls in the bottom of this profile, comes in here at the edge. They could push this high, but that 14920 looks pretty good. For support, I guess we have to go to this 14829 as and as low as 14816. We look at our 30 minute. So let's go with 14816. <sighs> I have to do a little dip, a little bit lower than that. Fourteen, eight, ten, and that doesn't seem like nothing when you think about the volatility. Um, we need to go. Um, go over here with the seventeen ninety five. Uh, 
uh, support uh, gold. We do have a, a, a two hour level there. I guess I should respect that. You see that right there? So let's go with the 1797 for the high and then the support. Uh, <clears throat> 1782. <laughs> And lastly, the crude oil. Wow, pushing back above 81. Go with this body right there. Oh, yeah, it's just above the high, 81.45. And support right there across that body. 80.39. And there we have it. There's the buy chart for today. And thanks for joining us in the uh, webinar. And we'll see you in the chat room.